Whether you're brand new to this or you've been doing this for a while, there are three major distributors. There is CD Baby, TuneCore, and DistroKid. Now I've experienced with all three of these distributors and today I'm gonna to be sharing an absolute horror story because one of these companies is just stealing money from its customers and it is an absolute scam. Hey guys, it's Desh, I'm an indie artist. This video is absolutely not sponsored by any of the distributors I'm gonna talk about today. A distributor is basically the middleman that gets your music on the streaming platforms like Spotify, Apple Music. They're not a curator. They're not supposed to say yes or no based on if they like your music. They're not supposed to take any percentage of your music rights when it comes to the masters, anything like that. You're literally just paying them a service to get your music onto all the big streaming platforms. So one of these distributors has a habit of taking the money from the customer, aka you, the artist, and refusing to provide the one service you're paying them for, distributing your music to the streaming platforms. How do I know this? Because it happened to me. So I'm going to go ahead and share my story and hopefully spare you from having a similar experience. So for years, I was releasing music on CD Baby. I've been in a ton of bands and releasing music under several different artist names. And I've done so many through CD Baby in the past. I don't remember ever having a bad experience. When I decided to look into releasing new music under my artist name, Desh Please, I decided to go with DistroKid. I had heard nothing but great things about DistroKid and I've been using them now for over a year. However, all my problems started when I came across this really cool opportunity in collaboration with Grimes and Grimes AI. At the time, it was early June and I had just started working on this really cool track with my friend, Timmy Timerson. It's an electric EDM dance pop type song called Dead from the Start. Kind of creepy vibes. I was like, perfect. Let's have this done in time for Halloween. We were loving how the song was coming together and we were just about to get to the mixing part when my dad sent me this link for a TuneCore collaboration with Grimes. And essentially you can use her AI voice on a track as long as you give her 50% of the royalties and either have her as the artist or the featured artist. My dad and I are huge Grimes fans. So is my friend Timmy. I sent him the link. He looked into it. He said, it sounds awesome. So we decided to go for it. As I mentioned, I was already using DistroKid at this point. However, this was an opportunity to work with Grimes AI, but only if you used TuneCore. So I had to sign up for a year with TuneCore and my friend Timmy did as well, just in order to accept any royalties he got from the song. So you have to sign up with the unlimited plan for this collaboration with TuneCore and it's an annual membership, $30. We were so excited about this track. And once we mastered it and got exactly how we wanted, I sent it into TuneCore through the unlimited plan as my first release with them. And on August 14th, I got the email notification that Grimes had accepted the splits and we were over the moon. We were like, oh my gosh, Grimes likes the track. This is awesome. However, four days later on August 18th, I get this email. Hello there. For the TuneCore terms and conditions, TuneCore has the right to reject any materials submitted for distribution. This notice is to inform you that TuneCore has blocked dead from the start. While we have no refund policy, a refund for your submissions can be processed under certain circumstances. Please let us know if you have any questions. Please do not attempt to resubmit this content through the TuneCore service or it will be blocked without refund. Uh, the f no refund, right to reject. What? TuneCore is not a curator. They don't get to decide if they like the song or not. Grimes already accepted. They're not a gatekeeping service, but yet they're saying the song is blocked and they're refusing to distribute it. Uh, yeah, I have some questions. Artists aren't looking for opinions or advice on the songs they send in. They're literally just paying these distributors a service to get their music on the streaming platforms. That's it. They're not a gatekeeping service. They're not a curator. They're not supposed to give feedback or a yes or no based on if it's their cup of tea or not. And Grimes already accepted the track. So I log into my TuneCore account and sure enough, at the bottom of my release, there's a nice notice in red saying, release not sent, action required. We found an issue with your release. Please check your email for more detail on the problems and how to fix them in order to get your music live. Okay, remember the email I got? Here's a question. Where are the details on the problems and the solutions on how to fix them? So on August 18th at 10.31 a.m., I respond. Hi, I'm a new TuneCore customer. I followed the instructions exactly for the collaboration with Grimes AI. I already got the notification Grimes approved the track before this email from your content review team. Can you give a detailed explanation? Because this makes no sense to me. I published lots of songs and I've never had one blocked. Can you help with this issue? Finally, two days later, after I've been stressed as heck with our song just in limbo, I get a response from Natalie. Hello there. Thank you for getting back to us. In an effort to be fair to you, we took some extra time to investigate why this release was denied. We are standing by our original decision not to release this content. Sorry if this isn't the outcome you were expecting, and we are hoping you will respect and accept the decision. Thank you. No, I don't accept. I follow the guidelines exactly. Grimes approved. Nothing was violated. This song is 
very tame as far as like lyrics. It's basically a morbid love song, very Halloween theme, but it has nothing offensive, not even any swearing. I cannot for the life of me understand why the song would get blocked. Again, for years, I've been releasing music with other distributors, never once had a problem, never once had an issue of any kind, never once had a song blocked, and let alone with no reason, no explanation, no assistance whatsoever on how to proceed. I respond immediately with another email. Please understand I am confused on why this release has been blocked, and I'm simply asking for an explanation. The notice in red even states, check your email for more detail on the problem and how to fix them in order to get your music live. However, the only email I received gave no reason on why or how to proceed. I signed up for a year for your services only to have the very first release blocked with no explanation. If I plan to do future releases, how can I possibly know how to proceed when I have no idea what the issue is? Can you please provide some details to this conflicting information? Because as a new customer, this is very confusing and frustrating. And then of course, I provided the screenshots where I showed that I got the email that Grimes approved the track and also the email where they said, check your email for more details and solutions on how to fix when they provided nothing of the sort. Another day goes by and then on August 21st, I get an email from from Jared. Hello there. Thank you for your mail. I do understand you're looking for an answer. However, we would like to inform you that before distributing any tracks, we look at various things. And on the basis of that, we decide if we need to go ahead with the distribution. I'm afraid in your situation, we have made an internal decision not to distribute the track. Again, apologize for the same. Take care. Once again, no explanation, no solution, no assistance whatsoever. Meanwhile, it seems like I keep getting like auto-generated responses that are super wordy, but really don't tell you anything. So at this point, I decided to do some digging and I hop on Google, I hop on YouTube, and I instantly find a ton of videos with people claiming that TuneCore is a scam and literally having the exact same thing happen to them. But hold on, isn't TuneCore a major name? They're one of the top three largest distributors for music. So what exactly is happening? So I watch a few of these videos. The first one by a guy named Io High. I was actually taken aback that this guy got the exact same email response I did, word for word. And once again, same in their case as mine, zero explanation, zero assistance, just telling them that they're blocked and there's nothing they can do about it. Meanwhile, TuneCore pockets the money and again is refusing to do the one thing we're paying them to do, distribute our music. Next video I watch is by a kid named Joey Cooley. And I kid you not, the exact same email word for word. This guy even hopped on Twitter to try to reach out and got the exact same automated response there as well. The Joey guy uploaded like eight or nine songs, got all of them denied, and then realized even though these were days apart that he was uploading them, he got the response email saying that they were rejected all at the exact same time. Meaning it seems like his account was just blocked for some reason, and so they were just auto-denying anything that he submitted. And then on both these videos and several others, there are just a ton of people saying that the exact same thing happened to them where they just paid TuneCore and then TuneCore just refuse to distribute their music. No help, no refunds, no explanation, nothing. It's like if you pay someone to paint your house and then you give them money and they just tell you they're not going to paint your house and they don't even tell you why. They just don't show up, they don't paint it, and you get no refund. Like, how is that a thing? The Idol High guy had several songs rejected and finally decided to just try DistroKid and then same day instantly got his song up with zero problems. Interesting. So I'm realizing more and more that TuneCore is literally getting people to sign up with this collaboration with Grimes. They're putting her name on it, they're putting her face on it, and then they're just refusing to distribute the music. So this obviously isn't happening to everybody. What I'm assuming it is, if you're unlucky and you happen to be one of the accounts that they just refuse to distribute. You know what that means. You're shit out of luck. These other artists were like me, where they were like, okay, I must have missed something. I must have done something wrong. Double checked literally every step, double checked all the policies on TuneCore, double checked all the fine print. No, we didn't do anything wrong. That's where the scam comes in. TuneCore is just accepting the money from artists and then refusing to distribute their songs. So people are often saying that TuneCore has much better prices, yada, yada. It's a lot cheaper when you get a ton of people to sign up for something and then you really only help a small amount of those people. Meanwhile, you just screw the rest out of their money. So at this point, I'm beyond frustrated. I'm super discouraged and I'm just really upset. So I knew it was a long shot, but I decided to send an email to Grimes through the Grimes AI email that I had to accept the royalty split just in case I happen to get a hold of somebody over there because I really doubt that Grimes has any idea that she's attached to a scam like this. Grimes was an independent artist for years. She started on GarageBand. I think she's an amazing artist and I really don't think she has any idea what TuneCore is doing. They're using her name, they're using her photo, and they're getting all these hopeful artists to sign up because this is a really 
awesome opportunity. But the problem is so many artists, even after getting their track approved by Grimes, are just absolutely getting scammed out of their money by TuneCore, is refusing to distribute those songs. And again, this is happening to a ton of people signing up with TuneCore that aren't even using the Grimes AI collaboration at all. They're just trying to distribute their songs through TuneCore, a distributor, not a creator, not a gatekeeping service. But TuneCore is just pocketing the money and refusing to do that. So I send this email to Grimes. As expected, I didn't get a response, unfortunately. But you know, hey, it was worth a shot. So with nothing left to lose, on August 22nd, I sent a response email to Jared. Again, when I log into my account, the notice in red states, check your email for more detail on the problems and how to fix them in order to get your music live. You provided nothing of the sort. No reason, no resolution, no explanation, no help whatsoever. Am I just talking to a bot? Is TuneCore just a scam? What does it take to get a reason and some assistance with this? Does Grimes know she's supporting a scam? At some point, you kind of just got to make a stink or you're just not going to get a refund. You're not going to get any help. But I wonder if this is like a squeaky wheel situation. So I decide to demand a refund, even though they said I wasn't going to get one just to see if they would actually give it to me. And of course, I put in that I normally use a much better competitor, aka DistroKid, which again, I've never had an issue with, nor with CD Baby either in the years I've been doing this. And I hate to say it, but that email did get a little nasty. And on August 23rd, I get an automated email from TuneCore with a takedown notice. Hi, we have processed your request to take down the following release. Your music will be removed as soon as possible. Yeah, well, it wasn't my request, but thanks for confirming that you're taking it down. I did finally receive an email from Jared saying that he is going to credit back both me and Timmy's account. And I'm thinking about all the artists that didn't really push it and they just got discouraged because it literally said in the email, no refund. I just wasn't going to accept that. I hope other artists don't either if this does happen to them because that is the one thing you're paying them to do. And then if they just pocket the money and you don't demand a refund if they're refusing to do the one thing you're paying them for? How does this company get away with this? So apparently if you're not on a major label, you're not a major artist, your account could just get blocked and then none of your songs get released. Of course, there are a lot of lucky independent artists that this doesn't happen to. And so that's great. They have no idea probably that the scam exists. But for those of us that are unlucky and it just happens to happen to us, even though we followed everything exactly, we checked the fine print everywhere, we're not doing anything wrong. Again, I've used several other distributors for years, never had a problem. And by the way, after this all happened, I went ahead and uploaded the same exact song to DistroKid and a day later, I got it approved. Zero issues, zero problems, as always. Thanks, DistroKid. I uploaded the song on August 24th and on August 25th, I already got the email from DistroKid saying, good news, we verified your audio format, bitrate, etc., for the song and everything is good. So after this whole thing was super discouraging, we took Grimes' AI voice completely off the track, just had my vocals on it. Still really love how the song came out and the song is actually live on all streaming platforms now. It's called Dead From The Start. I have a link below along with an AI music video that I think came out so cool. I'm super bummed that you guys can't hear the Grimes AI version because I think our voices sounded really cool together. But even though Grimes accepted, Tunko rejected. So there's that. So yeah, I got my money back, but I feel lied to. I feel extremely frustrated. I was so excited for the track. So was Timmy. We put so many hours, so much time into the song. Even though Grimes herself approved the song, Tunko just decided they're not going to release our song. And... That's that, I guess. I tried to fight for it, try to reach out to the Grimes AI. I think she has no idea at all that TuneCore is literally just attaching her name to this and then promising all these artists these amazing things. It's just funny because their one job is just to distribute your music. They're not a curator. They're not supposed to decide yes or no if they like it or not. You're literally just paying them to get your music on streaming platforms. That is all they're supposed to do. And when they refuse to do that and they're just pocketing the money and then claiming they're not gonna refund you, you're not gonna be able to do anything about it and they just block your song from all stores. I just don't get it. I don't get it at all. But now this song is out on all streaming platforms, zero issues, zero problems. I think that DistroKid used to be considered like the underdog because it didn't have a bunch of giant mainstream artists attached. But I've been using them for over a year now. Never had a problem. If I ever need to live chat with them or email because I have a question or concern, they respond very quickly. They're friendly. They're helpful. They really seem like they care about their artists and they value them as customers. I also have two really cool things I want to point out when it comes to distribution. Noise normalization. You pay, I think, two 99 per song. And what it does is it makes sure that your song matches the loudness level of all the other songs on Spotify so that yours doesn't sound super loud and distorted or super quiet and it doesn't match the rest of the songs in a playlist. And you get that money back if yours already is normal when it comes to the normalization. And if you know what you're doing or you have a really good master, I myself use it every time and I always get the refund. So even though I pay for it up front just to make sure if it's right and it's normal, you'll just get a refund for that amount, which I do every time. And then you know that 
that your song is going to match the volume of all the other songs on Spotify. It's really cool. Another thing I absolutely cannot recommend enough with DistroKid is an add-on for discoverability. Basically, you know how when you're shopping or something and you hear a song you like, maybe it's in a show even, and you pull out your phone and you shazam it. That is such a huge thing for independent artists, that discoverability. If your song happens to get placed in a commercial, in a show, or in a playlist, and people are hearing it in the stores, and people are like, oh my gosh, what is that song? And they shazam it. That literally helps so much for indie artists with discoverability. I absolutely recommend you add that onto every song. In my Apple Artists account, I see how many people Shazam my songs and I am blown away by how many people actually heard it somewhere and like checked out what it was. If you're an indie artist out there, I feel like you've kind of seen it. There's definitely a big shift happening in the music industry right now where I feel like indie is king. There are so many cool opportunities now that there weren't before where as indie artists, you can be successful. You can make a living. You can get your songs on playlists. You can get them Synced. If you guys are curious or want more information on stuff like that, let me know in the comments if you want me to start doing more videos on different things you can do as an indie artist to get your music out there without having to rely on a major label. Or if you want more horror stories, things like that, let me know as well. It was like a night and day experience between TuneCore and DistroKid. Automated responses, super condescending, not personalized, not helpful, providing zero information, providing zero solutions. Oh wait, I forgot one thing because it's actually hilarious. I actually just got another email from TuneCore, listen to this. You have at least one release live on social platform. To make things easy for you, we will automatically distribute your current live releases. Um, I'm sorry, what release are we talking about? The one that you went ahead and deleted out of my account for me when I didn't ask you to, and the one you refused to distribute? That one, because that was the only release I had with TuneCore. And now it doesn't even exist because they refused to distribute it. They blocked it. They deleted it. Yet now it's on something called social platform. TuneCore, go home. You're drunk. It's my own fault for not doing my research ahead of time. And so that's why I'm putting out this video today to do that for you. So you are warned. I don't want to see other artists wasting their time or their money. We need to look out for each other. If you know somebody on the fence or you're not sure with which distributor to go to, please share this video. Hopefully I was able to save you from a disaster like myself and so many artists have had to deal with. If you had a similar experience, please let us know in the comments below. It's already so hard being an independent artist and having to do all this stuff yourself. And then when a company you trust just completely rips you off and refuses to help, it is the most frustrating feeling and it's not okay. TuneCore is a scam. It happened to me. It can happen to you. So save yourself the time, the frustrations, the energy. Just go with somebody else. Go with CD Baby. Go with DistroKid. Anybody but TuneCore. Your music deserves to be on all streaming platforms. Your music deserves to be heard and you deserve better. Thanks so much for watching. If you want, you could check out my original music on all streaming platforms. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more videos like this or what you want to see next. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.